A stolen Chevy Suburban plows through rush hour traffic. Uh, this guy is going about 120 miles an hour. Inside the vehicle, two teenagers wanted in a string of burglary. Motorists get out of the way as quickly as they can. But this car can't move fast enough. All right. Well, he, did, he hit the car. He hit that car. With a monster 40-gallon gas tank, this chase could go on for hours. When the freeway gets backed up with traffic, the desperate 15-year-old driver takes to the streets. Oh, I can't believe it. This guy is hitting surface streets. They're just as packed. Continuing its rampage down city streets, the three-ton truck almost broadsides a car. This is a commuter's nightmare. When the Chevy barrels by at 75 miles an hour, pedestrians on both sides of the street run for their lives. Now he's not stopping for anything or anyone. Police move in to block access to busier streets. Okay, no, these officers aren't going to let these suspects just go anywhere they want to. So the teens jam back onto the freeway. As it grows dark, this pursuit becomes much more dangerous. For the safety of other motorists, officers give the Chevy plenty of room. But now with a clear track, these teens take even wilder risks. Sideswiping two cars at once. This guy, is, this guy's just dangerous. Suddenly, traffic is held up by police, and the Chevy has to slow down. That's when officers move in. But just when it looks like the four-wheeler has run out of road, the driver makes his own road. The Chevy plows right over the concrete divider. Police quickly catch up and surround the Chevy. But in a startling move, the rugged vehicle cuts across the grassy median and races toward busy downtown Atlanta. Officers know they have to stop this truck now. A squad car uses the pit maneuver and sends the suburban careening across the freeway. In an amazing move, an officer risks his own safety to trap the suspects. The Chevy is completely disabled, but this insane chase is still far from over. The suspects jump down 15 feet and run towards a shopping mall. Police have got to stop them before they make it inside and get lost in the crowd. The air unit blasts the suspects with a powerful spotlight, and officers race in to take them down. Finally, they're in handcuffs. For two long hours,